All right, boys and girls, here we go. So this is my June um, ARP sketch box. So every month I get one of these and I thought, hey, I'll share this with you. I've been trying to do a really good reveal. So in the box we have, this is what is in there. So it gives you a list and tells you all about their stuff. And then this is an artist that did uh, work using Sketchbox materials. So first thing I wanna look at is they have a mixed media pad. So it's a small pad, but it's a nice mixed media means like you could use pencil, you could use maybe like a light wash, like a watercolor or a crayon or something like that. It's got a little tooth. That means it's bumpy. That's an art term. So that works really well for the pencil and dry stuff, which brings us to a lead holder. Um, it's a mechanical pencil. It holds lead, so I can get new lead instead of sharpening. They also um, sent a like a case, a graphite pack, which is really nice because this has a little carry case. It comes with polishing leather, so that's for when you're done drawing and shading. And for the shading, they have three pencils and they have some squares and um i'm not sure what that is i'll have to look into that so actually i have scissors let's cut that open and take a look at this stuff so like i said i didn't even look in here yet it's kind of exciting it's like christmas but not i'm gonna cut the package because it's kind of interesting to see what, uh, this is some kind of a, this is a tool for blending. That's crazy. These are big. So when you want to shade in a big area, you have sticks. I have some stuff like this. It's actually graphite, meaning the, you know, the stuff in the pencil. That's what it is, it's graphite stuff in the pencil. Um, HB is hard at to be and um, harder create color. That's interesting. So, and then there's this. That's the blend. Now we have a kneaded eraser. It's an eraser, except uh, you can squish it. So if you go and erase like a little area, you can take that and erase a little tiny area. And then, they have liquid pencil, which I've never in my life heard of, let alone used. Apparently it's rewettable. So once you put it down, you can wet it and move it around again. And as if that's not exciting enough, it comes in yellow and blue. So you can add a little bit of color to your drawing. They give you this big piece of graphite. It's 2B. It's pencil, but it's like in this crayon form, which again is nice if you're doing something large, which it kind of stinks that I have this little tiny, like I would work on something gigantic if I was using that. I have a sticker. Who doesn't like stickers? And since they gave us um, the liquid pencil and stuff that you can wet, a really nice brush. This one is from King Art. Um, it's got kind of a, a wedge to it. So this is really nice. Kind of pleased with this box. I'm excited to try it. So next thing I'm going to do is demo, um, an actual drawing for you. So you can see what kind of artwork, what I like about this is it gives me a limited amount of stuff to work. So it forces me to be creative with the materials that I have on hand. All right, boys and girls, and we're back again. Um, so I opened up the kits and basically figured out what everything is. So the first thing I think I'm gonna go through is this Create Color Kit. So I went online and I really looked at it. So you have three pencils and you have a HB, which makes nice, crisp, hard lines. You have a 2B, which you'll see those lines are thicker 
and darker. So this is basically becoming a darker pencil. And then the 4B, which is going to make nice black. This is soft. So basically, when the graphite is softer, it makes for darker colors. So you can see right there the difference between the HB, the 2B, and the 4B. So then there's sticks. They call them these sticks. So there's this jumbo, let me pull this one out just like the two, jumbo stick. So it's almost like using a pastel. So it's for putting down lots and lots of color. I love the way they, I mean, I don't love it. I'm being sarcastic, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled with the teeny tiny. Um, I mean, this is good for uh, samples. This is the 6B, but this is really for working on a large um, piece of paper. And this is the 4B. So if I wanted to color in like a bigger area, that would work. Now, this is interesting because it's actually a pencil without wood. They put this coating on the outside. So as you sharpen it, it doesn't... Uh, as you sharpen it, the coating comes off. But what this does is it gives you a, a different area. So if I wanted to color in a bigger space, I could put this on its side and really get in there and color stuff. So that's kind of neat. Um, and it also comes with this cap because it can get very messy. So I figured out what this is. I was like, what, what, what is that? I've never seen. Now I know. So it comes in this little case. And it travels really well. Pencil is really one of those mediums that, like, if you're on the go, you can um, travel with it. Now, here is the graphite crayon. So it's shaped like a crayon, but it's actually graphite. It's the stuff in the pencil. And again, this works well for doing large areas. This is the lead holder. So unlike a regular mechanical pencil, you can open it. It's got like a little claw-like action and the lead is thicker. You have to have a special sharpener. I actually have one because I did some mechanical drawing early on in my life. And you can make the point as sharp or as um, fine, as sharp or as dull as you want, as opposed to this type of mechanical pencil where the lead is super thin. You can see it there, super duper thin. So I always get fine lines with that one. So there's uh, pluses and minuses to working with either. So now we're going to take a look at our um, liquid pencil. So this one's the blue. This is supposed to be the yellow. Now it came out gray. So I'm not sure how I feel about this, but let's do the yellow first. So here's the brush they gave me. Dip this in the yellow and color this. Oh, it does have like a warm, a warm color. I'll bring this closer. Now I'm gonna clean that here and wipe my brush with a little paper towel action. You know how that goes. And then let's try the blue. So I have it marked out. Yeah. Oh. So it does have like a cooler, um, to it. It's gray still, but it's like a, a warm, warm, you see it almost looks a little yellow, warmer and cooler. So mechanical pencil and then the um, other stuff. Now, the kneaded eraser, I normally don't have these in school because um, you guys are in elementary school. Uh, older kids, I'll usually like if they're doing some serious drawing and stuff, what's nice is that it's almost clay-like. So you can knead it and you can use it like that. So you could use it in a little teeny tiny area or you can even go and lighten up an area by just sticking the kneaded eraser on it. And you'll see that the bottom part here actually got lighter. So you can take lead off just by using it. And when the eraser gets dirty, you just kind of squish it and fold it and find a clean spot. So these are interesting materials and I am going to shading. So you'll see this is very um, classic pencil technique. I used this to draw out my lines and I got some nice crisp lines using my 
uh, pencil holder with the hard lead. This is the HB. So this is the hardest lead for these pencils. These pencils are made for shading. When I normally do shading, I do it with the side of the pencil. And then I go, I work from light to dark. So I'll do the HB. The 2B is going to be the next darkest. So I might add that next. And you always want a little bit of the, I do. I like a little bit of the texture of the paper to show through. So remember I said that this paper is toothy. That means that there's lumps and bumps and nooks and crannies off of it. You can see those nooks and crannies. And that kind of gives you a texture. It also gives a place for the, um, the pencil graphite to take hold. The 4B is going to be darker. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I have my light coming from the other way. So this is going to give it the feeling of being dark. Where's the light coming from? So I layer. I like to put my hard graphite or my lighter color down first, and then I can always make it darker. But if for some reason you want to go lighter, remember this thing? You can actually pick up some of the lead. So then I want to go in and do the... So I've been trying to use all of these. This is a 4B. So this is kind of a different feel. That you're going to have here. So this is kind of interesting. Maybe it opens up to a 2B. Let's try this thing out. This thing puts a lot of graphite. Actually, yeah, it's a 2B. But it has some good color. So if you want to put a lot of color down, this is kind of a cool thing for that. But if you want to go really dark, then this is a 6B. Let's hold it this way. So see the 6 and the B there at the end? That tells me it's a 6B. And this is the darkest color that you can get with this set that I've seen so far. I wish they would have gave me that as the crayon. That would have been pretty awesome, but it's okay. So I tried everything in here. So now I would like to use some of this liquid pencil stuff. So here's my handy dandy brush. And I think I'm going to take the yellow and I'm going to take some of that and put it, too much water, put it over here in the background, that yellow. This is kind of neat. Oh, it's really yellow now. You can see that there's, okay. There's yellow and then there's like graphite in it, which is so weird. Now, I'm assuming that you can erase it. How bizarre is that? You have liquid pencil that you can erase. And that's kind of a big deal because I don't, I don't know of any paint, like a watercolor paint. Once you put that down, you are stuck with it. You better love it. Um, and watercolor is also hard to paint over, so you got to be real creative if you make a mistake, um, which is something we work on in class. But, so there's the yellow in the background. It's kind of, I kind of like it. I'll put some blue on the bottom. So the blue, with any luck, is going to be a bit cooler. This brush is kind of neat. It's kind of, it's on an angle so you can get some nice straight lines. Maybe if I go like that, you can build up some layers. 
Now, I have never used this before, this liquid pencil. This is a first in my entire life, and I've used a lot of art mediums. But this is my first time using a liquid pencil. Never even heard of it. Nonsense. Nonsense, I tell you. So. That's pretty cool. So there you go. There's 